She encounters a stakeholder who is aggressive and belligerent. What should she, it's affecting the team's performance. What should she do? It will always be, you are the project manager. Or they use the word project leader a lot. And people that haven't encountered that word, they're like, hmm, what's a project leader? The same thing. But it's always, what should you do next? Or what should you do first? Or what should you have done? And you have A, B, C, D. Usually it's choose one option. There might be the lone one or two where you choose more than one option, but it's generally one option. And then we have drag and drops. So you could have uh, different stages. Storming, the team is performing well. Norming, the team is at a high level of excellence. But you gotta match the ones that are right. And then that's how the exam is. It's three hours, 50 minutes. Three hours, oh, I'm assuming now. Three hours, 50 minutes, which is 230 minutes. 180 questions. Um, you have five questions that don't count. You don't know which ones. They're kind of um, experimental kind of questions. But um, it's broken into three pieces. 60 minutes. Uh, 60 questions, 60 questions, 60 questions, but they don't gate how long you spend on each section. So, I, for example, I have some students, they spend 80 to 90 minutes on the first section. Uh-oh. So guess what happens with the other sections? They're now trying to catch up. Mm -hmm. And some of them, I had one student that got to the end of her exam. She had 10 minutes left, Raina. 10 minutes, 40 questions. Can you imagine that? 10 minutes. 40 questions. Do you want to know the outcome? You know what she did? She did this trick that I'm going to teach you. The trick is read the options. Like if you're in that kind of a bind, read the options and those that are the most agile or are the most PMP mindset like, choose those. She didn't read the questions, Raina. She did. She stopped reading the questions. And she just read the options. And she aced the exam. <laughs> she aced it. Her name is Anne. Um, if, you, if you look on YouTube, PMP Lessons Learned, Crazy on Anne, it'll probably come up. Her Lessons Learned are out there. And I, I was shocked that my, my approach worked. Because I had this approach I teach my students to just go through several bogus type options. Don't choose these on the exam. They are bogus. And it, and it paid off, it helped her. So she's now PMP. But anyway, that's part one. Thank you, those of you at home. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Raina. We will pause the recording and we will continue.